Here I come. Hello everyone and welcome back to Matt Stream, the official stream of Matt Finger Games. I am Jakub as always, uh, this time with Sebastian, temporarily. Temporarily. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, we were supposed to be joined by uh, Marek Zona, but unfortunately Marek is currently not feeling very well. So we're going to actually have three guests. Yeah. You are the only, you are the first one. Yes. Then we're going to be joined by Scott, because Scott wants to be here for some reason. And the third guy is going to be our new community master. Sort of. Yeah, Master of Community. Master of Community, right? yeah. Well, I mean, you can come up with a really cool nickname for him, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer call him Chris, you know? Yeah. So, okay. So, there's plenty to go through because mm -hmm. uh, we're currently in the middle of waiting for uh, the release of update 075. We have submitted the game, update is waiting for a review, and it's going to be out depending on uh, Apple and Google tomorrow, yeah. maybe Monday. So, yes. that's, that's, where, that's where we currently are. Uh, if you're, you know, waiting for it, please be patient. Uh, it's currently out of our hands. So thank you for the patience. Now, okay. why are you here? So uh, I'm here to talk a bit more about Genesis because uh, I'm sure that you are all patiently waiting for the next big event coming up. 
that's going to be the holiday event it encompasses uh, Christmas, New Year, and all the other holidays that we could think of. <laughs> or couldn't. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so can you can you tease a little bit uh, more about the update? Is it going to be comparable in size uh, with the Halloween one? With the Halloween one. That's, yes? that's precisely it, yeah. Is, uh, it, is it the same size or bigger? I think it's slightly bigger than the Halloween slightly one. Slightly bigger? Yeah, we have a bit more things in it. Okay, so what can players uh, look forward to when the actual update... Well, I mean... Not update, but when the actual event and happens. The event, the events, yeah. And uh, when is the event going to happen? So the event is uh, going to happen uh, this Monday, mm -hmm. and uh, it's gonna be uh, a PVE event similar to uh, to the Halloween one. Mm -hmm. But uh, and similar to the Halloween, also you can look forward to uh, change the hub. Change so it's up. gonna be a Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland. Hansa, I think we have some really nice picture from the Winter uh, Hub. Maybe we can have a look at that. We have a couple of them. Oh, yeah. Feel Maybe. free to show all of them. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like, eh? Yes, precisely. So festive. I, I, heard, I heard there are going to be some uh, Easter eggs and jokes yes, hidden. Yes, uh, yes. And, yeah, there are. Don't yes, want to yes. talk about that. No, okay. Not. Let's leave that for players to discover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I urge you to maybe look more carefully to these picture, on these pictures because there are some new gear, mm -hmm. new cosmetics. Maybe you might even notice the new weapons and so on. So plenty to look forward to. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about uh, the Halloween update? How did that went? Well, uh, the Halloween event uh, was the biggest one we, we ever did. Mm -hmm. And the turnover was... Um, kind of bigger than uh, all the all the other ones. Uh -huh. It's really good, and I'm sure that you guys enjoyed enjoyed it as well. Judging by uh, what was happening on social media and the amount of uh, spooky memes, yeah, uh, right. that were running around the internet. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, look forward to the to the to the Christmas event because it's gonna be right. Right, and can you also tell us when are you planning to uh, you know when is this event going to end? Uh, the event is going to end at the beginning of uh, January. Beginning of January. It was the first, first week of, of January. First week of January. So this is quite a long event. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So it's going to uh, run throughout the holiday season and the New Year's. Right. Okay. It. That's pretty cool. And are you also planning some uh, events already for January and so yes, on? Yes, yes. We are yeah? already work working on the January events, but... I'm gonna keep those secret just for a, a little, at least little give us something, more. you know. Is there going uh, to be some more lore or? Yes, it's gonna be pre uh, some more lore, and uh, one of the January events actually I can tease. It's gonna revolve around uh, one very special, uh, very special man, uh, creator of uh, one of our legendary weapons. Right. I think I know what sort okay. of person you're talking about, but uh, okay. The, I think that the hardcore uh, fans yeah, yeah, are yeah. going to know. Cool. So um, I think that's that's pretty much it because I know that you're extremely busy. Even though we submitted the thing, uh, there's plenty of things to to work on. Is there anything else that you would like to hmm. share with us? Uh, maybe we could talk about the new new weapons uh, in the in the Christmas. I'm sure that Christmas guys event. are extremely interested in that. Yeah. So we have uh, four of those. Uh, the interesting thing about about these is that amongst uh, the four of those, there is the uh, legendary shotgun nebula that you can see it right now uh, on the screen. So top left it, corner. Yes, precisely. That's the one. Uh, so be sure to check that one out. And also, uh, this is a PVE event primarily, but. Uh, from the start of uh, the uh, new new update, uh, PvP players can also look forward uh, to something. That's the second weapon. Uh, it's the Faraday Accelerator. Hansa, uh, do we have the other one? Yes, that's it. So that's the middle one, and this is the Faraday Accelerator. And this one is going to be purchasable. It's also a legendary. Uh, uh -huh. This is an AR rifle. It's going to be purchasable for war points in Nitro's shop. Okay. Uh, speaking of war points. There's one last thing PvP players can look forward to, that's that the war points will uh, be also awarded for playing duels from now on. That's, so, I think, very exciting. Yeah, good. more right. war points for you. Okay, so uh, that's something that we can look forward to. Uh, unless we have some questions for Sebastian in the chat, I think we can let him go and uh, work.
Yeah. So, hey, thanks very much for stopping by. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing this more often. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mo sorry, uh, headphone users. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, oh my God, there's so much stuff. Uh, I have like 14 pages of questions from you, so we're going to go through all of that. But before that, we have some very special guest who would like to say a couple of words. Are we ready? Come on, come on in. <laughs> Oh, it's the birthday boy. Hey, guys. <laughs> I just want to jump in and say thank you to all the nice messages that we had via the uh, Facebook and coming to... So, yeah, so who brief. are you? <laughs> Can you do a brief introduction for the for people? For those that, that don't know me and don't know me, I'm Scotty. Uh, I'm the uh, project manager on Legends. And uh, yesterday I had a load of nice uh, messages on the uh, Facebook fan page. And it's... It was just really nice to see, really nice to hear, and I love it. Okay. I really love it. So now that you thanked everybody, I think it's only fair that they kick your ass in the PvP. <laughs> kick my ass in the PvP? Do they not want to uh, join me for a drink at the bar? Well, I mean, you can do that, of course. In the meantime, I have some... Uh, I, I need to start with the questions because we need to go through all of them. There's so many. So maybe you can even help me with some of them. Oh. <laughs> Joe McNally is asking if the hub is going to have uh, Christmas decor. Yes. I mean, we saw that, so that question should be answered already. Will Santa be there? To a certain extent, I and think. There will be maybe more than one Santa there. Very well said. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Tosin Nisot is saying that he was hoping for an evil Santa head from Dead Trigger. Yeah, there's going to be evil hats as well, actually. you just got to be evil while wearing one. That's not the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Uh, Zypher is asking if we can give him an example about the uh, uh, upcoming perks reroll. Okay. So, right now we cannot. But, uh, because like it's, it, this system is not going to be in the upcoming update. Uh, so, there's still time to you know polish it and everything. We still don't know which update is actually going to be in. So, right now we cannot give you the, the example, but I mean, I would expect that uh, by s spending certain amount of soft currency or gold, you'll be able to re-roll the perks on your favorite gear. Um, I'm gonna play a match while... While drunk. Quickly, get in, get in, get in, get in. What am I playing? You are so going to get, end up in jail, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a good question from Gross Legros, who's asking... How is it possible that Big Red uh, Big Red's shop has different items in the Russian server? You know, because I do. Oh, please, um, <laughs> uh, please explain. You could uh, explain better than I can. Okay, yeah. so the the thing, the reason for this is that we're Damn actually it. I got arrested. Oh no, we're actually A/B testing some of the things. So uh, Russian guys are going to experience something a little bit different with the stores, and then we're going to, uh, you know. Maybe change even the stores for the rest of the world, depending on how well this experiment goes. Um, we still don't have... Uh, uh, Abdias Sejas is asking about the uh, Wargame uh, beta date. So we currently don't have the uh, beta date. We're definitely going to, you know, you're going to see it everywhere once we have the date. So uh, be patient. We're working on it. We'll let you know. After this week, more production, uh, more, more resources is being given to... Um, uh, war games, right? Okay. So, so it, I think uh, it's going to pick up a pace much, much, fa much faster. Uh, Meganj Singh, I'm sorry for butchering your name, is asking about the squat uh, bug issue. The squat bug issue will not be fixed in 075. Unfortunately, we did our best, but it's still work in progress, and it's going to be fixed in the upcoming update, which is due in January, maybe February. Still don't know. So yes. Um, blah, 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 blah. Derek Faircloth is asking about do the balance of the perks, if we're going to have a look at that as well. After update 075, the designers are going to have much, you know, much more free time yeah. to actually do the complete rebalancing of everything. So they're going to have a look at what works, what doesn't, and, uh, you know, go over everything. So, uh, yeah, you can expect some changes if uh, you're unhappy about the current balancing. Orion Alien is asking uh, if there is going to be a PvP game mode uh, introduced to Legends, a new one. In this update? No. No. Uh, in the next one? Yes. 
Thank you. Yes, there is. I knew that there were some some <laughs> benefits of bringing you here. Yes, yes, <laughs> not the, just like hey, yes, mother. and it's, al it's already had uh, development. It's already started uh, development on this new game mode. Mm -hmm. um, it's nothing too far that uh, we haven't seen before. So it's um, in the Shadow Gun universe. Currently. And also, also, I imagine that this is going to be uh, there's going to be a huge difference with the new uh, call to action matchmaking that we are introducing in the update also, 75. Yes, also. Can you can you actually explain how it works? The call to action? Yeah. Uh, you you uh, as, as you would normally go up to Nitro and start the matchmaking, well it, the added functionality is uh, adds um, a notification like um, the co-op when we call people um, to join you in a co-op. So the same thing happens in matchmaking, it sends an invite to everyone that's available and they just with one Click of a button is then jumped into that management. Yep. So that's going to make you know the whole experience of queuing up very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. People were asking actually, how is it possible that you know it takes so long and so on? Well, the the the, the answer is quite simple. Uh, the game is massive and there's plenty of things to actually do. So uh, you, you're playing PVE, you're playing different you know game modes and so on. Yeah. So the number of players on one server sort of spreads around and so on. So at the same moment. Uh, it's it can be quite tricky and the matchmaking lasts much more than in a, in a game which is True. built just around PvP. True. We could even uh, do things like expanding the um, the matchmaking. So, but we don't want to have that uh, imbalance of rank twenty one versus rank five or there's or a lot of like moving this. parts. So, yeah. Okay, uh, there's a guy called Nicholas, which is. San Nicolas. Which is which is funny because yesterday we had San Nicolas coming to our. For those who don't know, it's a bearded guy with an it's, angel. It's basically a, <laughs> it's, it's a Santa Pope. If it is the closest thing. Santa Pope. <laughs> it's a Santa Pope. <laughs> it's actually quite quite accurate. It's the Pope in the Pope in a Santa outfit. <laughs> okay, so so that's like a che like it's not even Czech. It's like a holiday, right? For those who don't celebrate it, and it's mainly for children. So we had that yesterday in the office. We're definitely going to share some videos and some pictures on our social media and as it's well about it. Mainly Czech. I've never seen this anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, the way we do it is probably Czech. So we had a Santa uh, Pope. We had two angels. And then these two demons. Yeah. What do the demons do? What's their purpose? They should scare the children not to be bad. They scare the children. That's what we <laughs> do in Czech Republic. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, we scare children here. Uh, we've been asked. We, that, that we're tough afterwards, you know? Yeah, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Want me to show that? Yeah, show it. Do you have something from the event? From the, yeah, show it. Show it. Show it. Oh, you're showing this. Taking you so long. You're not ready? Oh, you meant show the the winter thing. Oh, oh so this. behold! Oh, then. Okay. I thought that you were going to show San Nicolas. <laughs> yeah, show the winter. Just hunt. Google it. it Ch Czech Republic, uh, San Nicolas, and it's 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 hilarious. Okay, next question. Um, can you guys make? Uh, sorry, Andy Achman Septian. Can you guys make team PvP or duo uh, more than one round? Because it seems one round is not enough. Uh, like I said. We're not going to change the length of the matches, but we're going to make it much easier to get into the matches. So uh, you're going to be able to play PvP, you know, mm -hmm. as much as you want. Uh, Aaron Collimore is asking about uh, the crashes uh, and hyping when I'm uh, in PvP. So uh, Aaron, uh, the thing that I would like you to uh, uh, I would like you to do is to please contact our customer care under MadfingerGames.com/support. And please describe your issues that you're experiencing because these guys will be able to help you because they're going to ask you some information about your device, about yeah. where you're playing, about you know what server you're on and so on. Mm -hmm. And they're going to give you some tips, maybe some you know actual improvements and uh, they're definitely going to try to help I you. I would also, regarding the crashes, just double check after the uh, update because we um, this was one of our priorities to get uh, to, to focus on a lot of the crashes. So it may be something for him to analyze after yeah. the update comes out as well. Right. Okay. So we can switch back to Scotty because uh, he's I'm going into a duel. You're going into a duel. Okay. So time for me to answer more. Tell us about uh, winter holiday rewards. Uh, so there's going to be plenty of weapons. Weapons. And there's also going to be some uh, topical cosmetic items. Yes. So look forward to that. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Good luck. Why? Because you're going to need it. I mean, it's been Boom. it's been quite some time since we actually won uh, a match. Boom! 
I can lead. I can already hear the chat screaming about you being a shotgun user. I'm, it's your shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. Jamie Jankowski is asking um, about the perks in PvP. So that's the other thing that we managed to fix for the update 7.5. Yes. Uh, all your favorite perks are going to be back online and they're going to be working no matter what you do. Yes. Yes. Chris Seabass uh, Hildred. Uh, only one question. What in the hell is Big Red doing when he does uh, that stomp in his shop? Is he squashing bugs? Or is it like a sumo wrestler stomp? Oh, I don't know, to be honest. A sumo wrestling might actually make some sense. Sumo wrestling? Because he has the build for it. Yeah? But also, did you notice how his shoes look like? No. They are pretty much uh, designed for buck stomping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Adria, uh, Adrian Barroso is asking about uh, attaching iron sights to your favorite weapons, so that means customizing your weapons. That thing is currently not in development because it, it's extremely difficult to do that. Mm, something that you are familiar with uh, console games and PC games. So on the mobile, we're still going uh, a bit behind about uh, you know customization of all your gear. Maybe maybe next year we're going to mm -hmm. have a look at that mm -hmm. as well. Ivan Ivanov, it's easy to remember. Uh, any future optimization for weaker devices? Yes, already a lot of profiling has happened, some performance, and we're concentrating it for the next update also, for further development. Yes, we're constantly trying to optimize the game for lower end devices, yes. and we're doing what, whatever we can. However, sure. like I always say, we're not wizards. There are limitations to our work. Um, this is a good question maybe for you, Go ahead. Um, because you're part of the development team. Louis Manuel. Aguilera Ramirez is asking what the developers of Madfinger Games think about Shadowgun Legends. What they think? What they think. Um, <clears throat> it's our biggest project here and uh, I can't uh, talk for them but from what I see is uh, they are always uh, stimulated and always happy to um, jump in and make things more improvements and but I, I can't talk for them. Yeah. Ask them. They, I'm sure they'll get in touch with you on the Facebook page. On the, probably on Discord. There's a yeah. lot of devs on the Discord, so I would ask them there. But uh, also, good job, by the way. No, poor, poor job. <laughs> you, you, you need to like change your character's armor and upgrade your character. <laughs> yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do. That's why we're, we suck all it's the all time. It's all your fault. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I will just add from my standpoint, what do we think about Legends? I think it's pride. Uh, yes. We're extremely proud that we managed to pull something like that off with uh, the resources that uh, we have, because mm -hmm. we're still mm -hmm. quite a small studio. Uh, I mean, 100 people, some people would say that it's quite large, but if you compare it to the other you know, competition that we have, we're fairly small. And, and if you understand where the resources are going to, so great games also having updates, um, uh, Unkilled, Dead Trigger, Dead Zone, and Legends, War yeah. Games, yeah. It's, it's... So it's, it's, it, there, there's a lot of pride there in, yeah. in our yeah. work, yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of like joy that we get from your feedback, of course. So, so, so that's what that's what at least we do think. If you want to know more about what the other guys think, uh, Discord, Facebook, uh, get in touch. anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Get in touch. Hey, Scotty, I know you're extremely busy and I have plenty more questions and another guest. So thanks. Thank thanks, you very thank much. You. Hey, thank thanks. you, guys. Thanks. Thanks, man. All right. So in the meantime, while these guys change mics, I can only tell you that if you want to get something for free, in Shadowgun Legends, there's nothing easier than going to our Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash madfingergames and entering uh, exclamation mark uh, giveaway into the chat and you are eligible for to win some uh, free stuff. Right? Onza. Yes. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet... Okay, maybe not yet. <laughs> Still. <laughs> <laughs> so, users again. so meet Chris. Hey everyone. So Chris is the newest addition to Madfinger family. How has it been so far? So far so good. <laughs> so far, so uh, good. <coughs> just getting some frags down. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's right. So Chris, uh, Chris's position is going to be actually being one of you. He's a huge help uh, to me because you guys, you get, you're going to be talking with the community much more and so on. You guys are, are going to be also sitting here with me on the stream, maybe sometimes even without me, yeah. talking to the guys. And your, I told it a number of times before, your primary task is being their ally. Yes, and, working for you. 
Yes, so uh, Chris is one of you. He's going to be taking all your feedback and then forcing us and kicking the rest of the team to actually do it and uh, implement it in the game and so on. I, if, Good I luck. Have, if, if I have my way. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> I, I'm sure you have your yeah, ways. We'll see. So uh, before, before we finish these questions, uh, mm -hmm. I, I would just like to ask you about you a little bit so that okay. uh, you know, if you're going to be representative of the community, you should probably tell them a little bit more about yourself. So, Absolutely. So uh, you're not Czech, as I, I understand. Yeah, so where right. are you from? Yeah, so thanks, uh, Jakub, for introduction. Um, I'm Chris, uh, and I'm actually originally from Houston, Texas. I've lived here in Brno, uh, where we're producing these amazing games, uh, now for 10, almost 11 years. How's your check? Pretty good. Yeah? I, 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 get, uh, I get around. Um, not knowing Czech seems like I, would, I, would, I wouldn't like it as much to be <laughs> here, because the people are amazing. Uh, and, and the English is, is incredible here in the city, but uh, but there's so much hidden. There's there's so much hidden behind um, the language here in Brno and Czech Republic understand in general. It. Uh, <laughs> it's extremely difficult language. Yeah, but it's worth learning because then you really get to understand the people here. And, well, and basically, you what to, you need is jedno pivo, prosim, which yeah, means well, like one more beer. One more please. beer. <laughs> That's going to get you yeah. places. Yeah, there's yeah. some there's some basic uh, things that, that are worth picking up pretty quick. Okay. Uh, the other question I had is, uh, we pride ourselves on having the studio consist of gamers. Mm -hmm. So, are you a gamer? If so, what sort of games would be your, uh, you know, blood type? Ah, the magical question, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, I've heard this question for uh, every time I've met anybody here in the company, actually. <laughs> it's uh, somehow important for you guys, right? It is extremely important. <laughs> important yeah. for us. Yeah, actually, um, so the truth is that um, I used to play video games like mad. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I just got a note. Uh, is that somehow better? It's okay. your first time. It's okay. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so video games. Mm, my history of video games started when I played back in early '90s uh, with my mom, and or actually late '80s, a Nintendo original mm -hmm. Nintendo, and then got my first computer and played Sega and PlayStation, and you know went through all the consoles. And and honestly, around the time Xbox came out is when I, I mean, is when I stopped more or less playing console games. Uh, I I went through. My my favorite games were Counter Strike right. uh, on the first person shooter or the or the shooter up uh, type genre, and then uh, Age of Empires two. Man, I spent I spent mm -hmm. hundreds of hours on that game, mm -hmm. um, and of course used to edit edit levels in Duke Nukem and, and Doom and and, uh, and that sort of thing. So once mobiles hit the the uh, you know the gamers um, repertoire, then I actually kind of stopped playing. Uh, because I got a family and have kids and started focusing on that. But now my kids are actually already getting old enough that we're going full circle and I just bought a Super Nintendo. Uh, oh, you did? And, and we're, so we're, we're playing Nintendo at home and they love mobile games, of course. Uh, unfortunately, some of our games are not like really suitable for the under, uh, you know, the teenager uh, or, or under true. teenager levels, but um, our ages, but uh, um, we'll... we'll They'll get there, and, they'll get, and, they're, they'll, they'll they're, get loving, there. and they're loving it because they're, they, they're like, Daddy, Daddy, go to work. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, you know, we're at home right now. And they're like, well, play, the, play your games. You have, to, you have to go to work now, Daddy. Uh, so I'm super excited about the opportunity to, uh, to, to start getting back into it. And, right. and the truth is, is I, feel, I feel that, uh, that nostalgia uh, bubbling up. I've only been here for, what, three days now, four days? Yeah. Uh, but I, I really feel that nostalgia, <laughs> and, and I'm really enjoying the, the it's great thinking to about the future of, of playing video games again. So, I know it's been only three days, but you had, uh, I mean, you played Madfinger games mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, which one is your favorite? So, in the past month, I've been playing uh, since I learned about you guys uh, mm -hmm. and, and started the whole process of getting hired here. Uh, and as of right now, I'm liking Dead Trigger. I'm, I'm actually liking Dead Trigger 2. It's, it's just it's such a relief to just go and shoot zombies. Like, you just pure, pure it's, zombie killing. It's sort of relaxing when it, they don't shoot back, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, and, and, and I, of course, I've been playing the Legends game, uh, Shadow Legends, uh, a lot. And um, for me, it's, it's, it definitely reminds me of. Uh, First-person shooter games or third-person shooter games that I've that I've played a lot in the past, um, but I'm still so new to it that there's so much that I'm realizing I I, I haven't picked up yet. 
I, I myself have a ton of questions um, right. uh, that I might actually uh, ask you to address. I think I'm, I'm sure that the community is also going to be helpful because yeah. first they're going to be they're going to help you answer some of your questions and in in as you say with your kids the circle is going yeah. to be complete and in time you're going to be answering exactly. all their questions so exactly it's going to be a process but everything is going to be fine these guys are lovely mm, i'm looking forward to uh, getting to know you all. don't 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 look at the yeah. chat they're lovely <laughs> no 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 they're fine most of the time yeah, be okay. nice guys but uh be honest and we're listening right uh I, there's one thing that I would like you to help uh, me with. Okay. There's a shit ton of questions that I need answered. Um, so I get to choose. You get you get to uh, ask me the questions. Yep. So like I said, you're part of the community. So. So uh, you're, you're, are, we, are we any of them? You you haven't, you haven't answered any of them. On you this are V medic now. I'm V medic. You're okay. V medic. So we do have a question from V medic. Actually, not just a question. Uh, there's a. About 20 questions. Yes. Um, that's awesome. We're mm. going to get through all of them. So the first one will be, will there be raid-specific gear? There is going to be new, you know, uh, well, there already is in uh, the dungeons, mm -hmm. right? So, But we are also in the middle of developing a new legendary armor set. So that should be exciting. And that legendary armor set is going to be uh, raid-specific. So yes. Sweet. Much, much uh, like with the weapons as well. All right. Mm, I think you might have already answered this. Actually, will yes. you be? Uh, will, will there be raids longer than eight minutes? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm, will the hive mind be different? The hive mind has been uh, improved. It got a facelift. Let's just say that. And the one of the improvements that we're proud of the most is that it's going to be a real challenge. So if you're asking about the length of the raid being eight minutes. This one is not going to be eight minutes anymore. Sweet. Uh, will matchmaking actually work when yes. you say it's fixed? Well, uh, we found a little like workaround so that, uh, I mean, Scott explained it quite well. And that's uh, when you're going to be queuing up and you're going to have no luck finding your, you know, partners and so on. Mm -hmm. So teammates, what you are going to do, oh my God, I'm getting my, my you're getting massacred over yeah. here. Hard to talk and, yeah. and kill at the same time, huh? Yeah, this is my excuse, you know, uh -huh. like I have to talk and play, so that's why I suck. But, um, uh, so yeah, so you will be able to invite your buddies, you know, and come on. Sorry. It, it? In, in other words, you, it, you it, will be able to invite the, the guys uh, around you to join your match, basically. Uh -huh. So, like, send them a message, uh, easy message, not intrusive message. Come join my match. Right. It's going to be much easier to actually get in. So the you match. can actually reach out and, yes. and touch someone and say, hey, come join me. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. Mm, so, will you add more good looking gear instead of putting it as a customization for gold? Like I said, there is a new legendary armor set being developed. So, yes. And, oh god, this guy. His hit and run tactics are way too superior for mine. <laughs> which is just run straight at him and shoot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so there's going to be plenty of really cool gear, not only cosmetic items. Sweet. Mm. With, uh, with 7.5, I believe there's altogether like, phew, there's a lot of weapons that you guys can, can uh, get. And there are not cosmetic, of course, weapons mm -hmm. are never cosmetic, so yeah. Mm, will you let level 20s do any activities with levels lower than them? Since grinding to 20 takes so long, no players want to or have the time or want to get there. Well, there's going to be a way how to actually speed up the process of leveling up uh, if you're a beginner. So what we're going to offer is uh, XP boosters. So that way you are going to progress much faster and you won't have to, uh, you know, experience as many uh, of the of the secondary missions mm -hmm. or grind missions and so on. So uh, there's going to be much more of the rank 20 level, the end game players uh, after 7-5. Sweet. Mm, will the boss do more than just sit there and knock you over a hundred times? This is like uh, <laughs> every boss is supposed to be a little bit different. Every boss is going to be a bit specific. So the upcoming things that we're prototyping right mm -hmm. now, there's, I mean, I shouldn't spoil it, but there's going to be like, for example, a boss a vehicle. 
Uh -huh. So that is going to be changing quite it up a little bit. changing it up a little bit. Uh, like I said, the hive mind is coming back, so that boss is uh, a nightmare in its own sense. It's not going to be only knocking you down and so on. So uh, many new interesting things coming to the raids and the the PVE experience. Looking forward to it. Yep. Will perks be any less uh, difficult to get? No. No. As far as I know, no. You're going to have to unlock them by playing with the gear that you want uh, to have, so, yes. And the uh, perks, will there be any unique ones well, uh, coming out? There, is, there are plans for that as well, because like, if we're going to be introducing new gear with, uh, with the upcoming updates, mm -hmm. it would be really cool if, if the gear was valuable, not only because it's you know, difficult to get, but also because it's actually really good and has really nice perks. So. And, so, and so we really torture everybody all the we're, time with, with saying like, uh, oh, we're, we're giving you something, but... <laughs> you're, you're really getting into the role of being their advocate, so yeah. Well, yeah. Some might call it torture, some uh, might call it fun. Uh, will people stop dressing like it's a pride parade? We cannot 18, change that, you know? 18 different colors of armor. Yeah. Like, uh, I think people, you know, when you get a chance to, to, to be colorful, you don't, you don't get that chance every day. Yeah. You know? So some people and it's also definitely like, who, enjoy that. Who are you to tell people what to, what to wear, right? There are some people who would like me to burn this shirt. And I, re <laughs> and I refuse to. Every time you walk by the, in the office today, I'm like distracted by you. Uh, oh, what? Even in the office? Uh, I thought I had office. at least your support. Uh, I mean, no. these guys hate it. Uh, well, okay. it's, it's a nice shirt. but uh, Thank you for your mm -hmm. lie. It's very, mm -hmm. <laughs> very nice of you. Uh, uh, will the story <laughs> missions be more than just mindlessly shooting aliens what would you like us to do that's the question yeah okay. let's let's be constructive here i mean that's yeah because i can complain about a lot of things but uh, unless i offer some you know like a way how to improve it probably not going to do much uh yes the, the missions however are going to be you know especially the epic missions and especially what we're trying to you know think about for the future mm -hmm. and so on we're definitely going to try to want to do it a bit more uh varied but one of the things is uh, that we're, that should like help spice things up a little bit is that uh, with the upcoming updates you will be able to experience all of these secondary and primary missions and so on together with somebody. Ah, so sweet. So you're actually we're going, going to full, full multiplayer. Full multiplayer. Sweet. Yes, that's our goal. Uh, Short-term goal. Nice. Yep. All right. So even if even if it even if you're still shooting easy aliens, you're doing it with your friends. Absolutely. Mm, okay. Uh, well. I'm going to take over, okay? Because now I think that it's time for the oh my oh yeah, we get to see we my, get to my see. mad skills, my <laughs> mad skills. Good luck. Where, where what was the last question from from medic? So we got two more, a couple more here. We're we're here. All oh, right. Will you answer Nup G questions? Yes, we will. Uh, he's uh, here somewhere. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do these questions demotivate you? They actually motivate us exactly. the, the opposite. So if you guys weren't there talking to us, we wouldn't, you know, be motivated. That that's actually more yeah. demotivating. Yeah. Hearing hearing hard things is not is not difficult. Yeah. Um, the only thing I would add to that uh, is that uh, difficult questions are absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Negative negative feedback is also very valuable. Yes. But please try to be constructive all the time. Absolutely. If you don't like something, try to offer a solution to it, right? So, you don't like uh, that the uh, shotgun is powerful? I mean, that's pretty easy. You, you are going to suggest nerfing it, but uh, let's say if you, if you feel like shooting aliens is not fun, give us another activity that you would like us to implement into the game. We're going to listen, we're going to judge it. There's a shout out thing, I think. Uh, no, no, no. Where is it? Monster XR. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Mr. Monster XR. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Super focused. Oh, man, I'm getting my ass whooped <laughs> massively. Yeah. So happy birthday, man. We really appreciate you being here in the game with us and you watching the streams and so on. So, And you actually have some questions. So, uh, where can I send the cookies or at least the credit to your uh, favorite cookie joint? Uh, you have done... Uh, you have taken care of so much of my shit over the past few months. Uh, that's very sweet of you. Uh, the, the address is Krobarenska 1 Brno. 
you can uh, find it on Czech the Republic. contact. You can find it on the contact page of, of you our can website. You can find it on the website if you want to send us something which is not, you know, uh, uh, anthrax or, <laughs> or <a> bomb. <laughs> well, <probably>. be it. <laughs> send it. We're send we're us. going to collect it and maybe even show it here on the stream. So yeah, feel absolutely. free. To. Absolutely. Okay. Um, his second question is about war games and how it's going to be linked to Shadowgun Legends. So we teased that a lot in the past, and I feel like we still don't want to say more. Mm. But like I said, the games are going to be very connected. You might see some familiar faces from this game, that game, and maybe also other games that are Shadowgun related. So that's going to be very exciting. And also, you, you kicking ass in one game is going to translate into the other. And I'm not going to say more at this point. So, okay. More questions. Dark Very. When is the Switch version coming out? Next year! Uh, Potato JPEG is asking, will there ever be an offline mode? Uh, mode? Unfortunately, I have to disappoint you, there's never going to be an offline mode because the game heavily relies on, you know, cloud solution and so on. It constantly needs to be online, sending data here and there, saving your progress. Also, it offers us protection against uh, hackers and, uh, you know, modified apps and so on. So, unfortunately, no, the game is never going to be offline. If you want an offline experience, I can recommend the original Shadow Gun, which is available on App Store for a couple of bucks. Okay. When will the squad, squad bug in EU server be fixed in the upcoming update 080? Deadzot is asking when is uh, 7.5 coming? So update 7.5 is uh, currently being reviewed. So it's going to be depending on how well the review goes, either Friday or Monday. Tactical Ops, uh, do the perks on the weapons work in PvP mode? Yes, they do, but like with everything in the PvP, everything is... Hansa? Are they seeing the gameplay? Or are they seeing... Right, okay, sorry. Oh, I saw it. Sorry. Whoops. Okay. So, um... Where is it? Where was I? So the perks, yes, uh, the perks worked in PvP, but of course, much like with everything in PvP, they are scaled down so that uh, it's uh, the PvP is, is as fair and balanced as possible. Uh, Chris Knox, I have several questions about the NPC. So this was fun because uh, this guy has lore questions, okay. and uh, it was my privilege to visit the writers' department today, and we had a little little bit of fun because you know they were telling me all these stories about all the characters and so on, and it was really exciting. So. Let's jump into it. So what is Slate's full name? So Slate's full name is John Slate, former Marine. Uh, now the first Shadow Gun and now the leader of all the Shadow Guns. Uh, what's, what's wrong with Pedro? He looks more like a Torment than a human, in, in my opinion. So evidently Pedro has been through a lot and he, he's seen through a lot. He's seen a lot. So he's seen a lot of action. And that action sort of have had consequences. And his unfortunate face is the result of those consequences. <laughs> so uh, it's probably all the things that he had to endure in uh, Dead Zone, right? But uh, yes, he has sustained you know, some damage and he had to compensate with uh, cybernetics and implants and so on. So now he looks like his face uh, has seen better days. Mm. What yeah, do you think about him? Yeah, do you like uh, his design? I mean, I, I think he's kind of cute. Cute? With yeah. no lips? I mean, you know. I don't like to judge about those sorts of things. <laughs> Good. Okay. Is it me or does Nitro look like the Joker from The Dark Knight? Do you think so? I don't know, actually. I think that a Nitro more resembles a Joker as well, mm -hmm. but from uh, Suicide Squad, the Jared Leto one, the best one. Super creepy. Yeah. No, but he also, I think he was inspired by many different things. Joker definitely being one of them. Also, the Grandmaster in the Thor Ragnarok, and, you know, and other, these, like, Flamboyant uh, show uh, providers and show hosts yeah, and so on. Oh my on. goodness gracious. Okay, and now the real question is what is our relationship with the Marine Squad? So, based on what I've been told by our uh, writers, uh, every one of you who are playing the game has been a very young and very talented recruit um, and has been a Marine in the Marines. And has been handpicked by John Slate to be the Shadow Gun. Shadow Guns being a separate unit from the military. I got my first kill! <laughs> okay, good. 
<laughs> Bam! So Shadowgun is uh, separate from the army, yet they still have some ties to the army, where army gives them the most dangerous tasks and so on. But also, John Slade has the authority to handpick certain people from the army or not from the army, maybe even like convicts and so on. Oh, wow. If he sees the raw potential, he has the, the chance. It's like much like, do you follow Game of Thrones? Uh, I, yeah, I watched the uh, yeah. first several seasons, yeah. So it's like Night's Watch, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what you what crimes you committed, uh, what if you were like your status was something completely different. Now, if you're handpicked by John Slate, yeah, you, you are Shadowgun. You're gun. good, yeah. yeah. And it has plenty of benefits, let me tell you. Uh, and his other question is, I'd like to know more about Regis. So, uh, Regis is our first raid boss, you know, the giant one. He's also in the arenas. And uh, what we know about him is that he was actually spearheaded the invasion of uh, on uh, Nova Callisto, which is the beginning uh, planet, the green mm -hmm. one. And uh, he is the leader of the Titan... Um, uh, division of Torment, so he's a very, very well regarded. He's also a completely different species, as I understand it, than all the other. I mean, he's Torment, but he's a different, you know, uh, kind Where of beast. Are you? But he is, he might not be as big as you think, because much of his body is exoskeleton. So that's pretty interesting as well. Greetings from Sabhi uh, YouTube, that's his name by the way. He's uh, asking, in place of martial mas uh, massage, is there going to be any other thing arriving in the Shadowgun Legends? So the martial massage is still the thing that we're developing, still the thing that is going to be part of. Nice. You waved, I at, got him. You, you waved at him as well. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Yeah. So, so yeah, so, so martial massage and the massage parlor and the tattoo parlor and the surgeon, everything is going to be part of the massage. And it's going to come in 2019, uh, the first part of 2019, of course. Oh, I want and uh, we're going to be expanding the hub because there's plenty of spaces to expand to. Any updates on the guild spaces and so on? That's definitely going to be uh, considered because we have prototypes, we have design documents and so on. We just don't really have the people and the time to do it. But we definitely want to do guild hideouts that you can upgrade, you can hang out with your friends and you can also challenge other guilds to, uh, you know, EVPs and so on. Wow, that's awesome. There's a lot of stuff. There's interesting a, stuff coming. There's a lot of stuff coming, yeah. And there's also like three more pages of questions, so... Nub G. The fame Nub G. Uh, I won. When will MFG Ooh, start yeah. making some new weapons that aren't based on others or improved gun sounds? So every legendary weapon is uh, a unique thing, which we are, you know, developing uh, for that particular weapon, so... Mm -hmm. They're, the artists are trying to make them as unique as possible. With the rest, with the uh, rare, uncommon, and you know other weapons, they are consisting of weapon parts that we need to put together. Because of course, with Shadowgun Legends being a mobile game, you have to consider the size of the app as well. And if we had seriously like hundreds of weapons, which we currently have in the game, the size of the app would be twelve times bigger, you know, and so on. So we have to find smart ways how to give you. Uh, variety in weapons and so on, mm -hmm. but also uh, sort of be within some sort of constraint by the mobile platform. Basically, so, there's a ton of details yes. that go into every decision, yeah. even to add one simple, what seems exactly. like a simple little thing. It, it requires massive changes. So, like, might, did, yeah. you being uh, fairly new in game development, what would you be your estimate? Uh, how long does it take to develop one weapon? Including you know I mean, animations and sounds. I would and say so on. months. Like no, it's, it's it's not months, but for one person it takes roughly week or two. Okay. Yeah. From, just one. from like concept to deployment. No, 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 this is just actual the person, the artist who takes the concept uh -huh. and then starts modeling the weapon. Understood, but if yeah. we include you know uh, artists and so on and concepts, uh, there's many iterations yeah. as well. So so we could inflate that uh, time. Yeah, that, that's the same thing. And you're asking me like from from concept to to deployment. Yeah, I mean, like, in some be, cases it might even it take months, mo take yeah. a month. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's, that's faster than I would expect. And what we will. I mean, we do our best, but still, it's not uh, enough uh, to please all of the guys who are hungry for new weapons yeah, constantly. <laughs> okay. Uh, spawn bug. Uh, he's trying to explain what a spawn bug is. So I chased that with uh, QA. So this spawn bug is being investigated and fixed by our uh, QA department. But of course, since we submitted, it's not definitely going to be fixed in the 7.5. So 
can look forward to fixes in the thing. Um, boom. You when might. will Dominic answer those damn questions from like a month ago? If you mean Dominic, our uh, game designer of Shadowgun Legends, he's probably the most uh, busy person in the office, so if be nice to him, uh, he has a lot on his plate, so if he doesn't under answer your questions, maybe ask him again. Uh, I can I can try to follow up with that, perhaps. Because uh, I don't, I don't be, think, be, I don't be think gentle I've met, with him. I don't, like, I don't he, think I've met Dominique yet, so... He's currently sick. Ah, but he has sense. like uh, a million things to think gotcha. of yeah. currently, so if he's slow on the answers, please be tolerant because uh, this guy is trying to, you know, rebalance the game, come up with new things and so and on. And where so were those questions? Just out of cu my, my curiosity. That, that is like, uh, Nub, uh, Nub doesn't really mention the questions here, so we probably some private conversation with okay. Dominic or something. Okay, yeah, so we don't even know. What on earth do you guys do to test these updates? They got delayed because of a bug. But when they come out, there's another ridiculous bug. So like I said, uh, the game is huge. Uh, we are not so huge. So we are really doing our best. That's why we delay the thing if we have a chance to fix additional portion of bugs and so on. <clears throat> That's also what we did because we had some bugs that were you know, critical uh, in order for you to enjoy the game much more. So that's what we did. Uh, we took some extra time. We do that often because we see that we have the capacity to, to fix more of the bugs. Um, but sometimes, of course, a sneaky bug uh, sort of gets in, but that's where you guys come in, because our, Q, our QA department, while good, uh, can catch 99% of the bugs. That 1% is the thing that you guys discover, and that's the one that you are angry about. So please don't, try not to be angry and just yeah. report it. Uh, there's a button dedicated for that in the game. And as soon as you report it, it's in our system. We're, we're going to fix it. So we're really doing our best. So apologies if it's not as fast as you would like. On that note, if I can just mention, um, we, we also recently, if I'm not mistaken, uh, have uh, launched the MFG customer care Twitter. That's account. right. Maybe we could mention that and, and let people know that, that, that they also mm -hmm. have that as an outlet in terms of getting our, getting our attention. Um, Onza, can you figure out what the Twitter handle is? For I can the, tell you. Do you know? MFG Customer Care. All together. All together. Okay, so so even on Twitter, we now listen to all your uh, feedback and complaints and issues and uh, reports and bug, bug reports and so on. And even the positive feedback, because there's plenty of that. Yeah. So uh, you can do that on Facebook. You can do that via the game, which is the best, actually. And then from Twitter as well. Uh, uh, okay, so he's also asking about uh, the customization uh, options as far as your screen goes. So that means enlarging your buttons, mm -hmm. if they're overlay or something like that. It is something that we haven't had the time to do, uh, but with future updates we're definitely going to look at that if it's something that you guys desire. So wait, um, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I, I, I did see somewhere something along those lines of being able to customize the buttons. That's not possible right now in Shadow Legends. It's like uh, you can set the size of the fire button, for example. Uh -huh. But uh, these guys would like it to be you know, to make, to have the option to make it even larger. You know? Oh, even larger. Even okay. larger. Okay. Like to give them more things. Like there are going to be limits for that. I can tell you already mm -hmm. that we cannot, we will not be able to allow you to have like you know a shoot button across the whole screen. But uh, we'll definitely have a look at a that. A bit more because flexibility. It, yeah. I mean, we always thought that we should give you uh, as much uh, variety as possible. Mm -hmm. So, And is that something you would think that if someone has a very specific request, like I would like to move, I would like the, the button to look like this, does it make sense for them to send us that in some way to say like, this is not that I mean, we would necessarily not, not be able to implement that, but mm. to, to have a concrete. Or Maybe is... if you have a very specific question. I mean, uh, in the meantime, we can boot uh, Unkill. Okay. So I'll try to answer this because it's a very good question. Um, if if you have very specific uh, this is like a request or something like that, if you want to have certain shape of certain thing or something like that. I suggest maybe not sending it as a feedback button because that one is used more for like bug Bugs, reports yeah, and so on. Yeah, this would be feature but, more. But we have an amazing community on Shadowgun Legends official on Facebook, which is a mm. Facebook group, and I would recommend you know shooting it there and say, hey, what do you guys think? And if it gets traction and if people go. agree, then we will consider it. But we would definitely, if we took uh, into consideration every single. Um, 
request, we would go insane. So mm -hmm. this no, is the a, best way to do that's it. That's a great. That's a great. Uh, using the community as a voice and yes. then amplifying that through the community, and then we'll we'll definitely be more likely to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let me set it up. You can continue with the questions. Okay. I mean, we are definitely not going yeah, to get through. We're not going to get through them all. It seems like. Uh, thanks again for all the questions. Keep them coming. Um, and uh, where did we end? Let's, okay. Let's can try. It. We, we we have we have to do two matches in uh, in we have Unkilled. Few okay. We have only a few minutes left. So if you're here for Unkilled and if you're here to win the minigun and the minigun challenge, uh, there's nothing easier than going to multiplayer duel and then. And then hitting dual, and then custom play, and then putting in the same num same name of the of the room that I do. Okay. Oh. That's stream number one. Two. Go. Okay. So mad stream one two three. Yes, uh, and the first one who connects. Gets to play with us, gets to kick our ass, and gets to win the minigun, or we have some other rewards for them as well. So uh, maybe we should continue because they're okay. going to crucify us if we don't go so, to all of them. Uh, I don't know where we ended. Can you bring back the old col colors of the hub? Uh, well, the first iteration that you saw during War Room streams mm -hmm. uh, has been worked on, and for several reasons, uh, some of them being mm, it has more the vibe that we wanted. Uh, we, we chose that iteration. So uh, the old hub, while there, the hub is going to change in the future and it's going to be changed with the events, like for example, the Christmas one, you know, your snow yeah. everywhere. We're going to, we have plenty of ideas. So it is going to change, but you're never, never probably going to see the original yeah. hub uh, that we showed during, during the development. Um, why can't we put stickers on arms? You can put them on the, only on shoulders, technical, uh, Technical limitations doesn't fit very well. On arm for some it's reason. also you have to consider that uh, each time you put it on uh, put put the, uh, a sticker on a 3D model, it is going to be deformed yes. by the 3D model. Mm -hmm. So so each arm is more dynamically. Yes. So we formed. the shoulders being you know the most flat surface on your on your arms, so uh, that makes sense. So that uh, the stickers still look nice. Uh, in it's December now. Is War Games likely to Beta release this month? I think the answer was already no, right? Uh, well, no, 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 not beta. I, I apologize. Uh, I jumped ahead. But yeah, what about the beta? Uh, the, well, the beta, uh, we're working on it. We still haven't revealed the launch date of the mm -hmm. beta. We're st we're doing everything we can to make it this year. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to prom over promise anything, you know, because oh, so like, there is uh, still a chance. That, that there is still a chance. Yes. Ah, perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I I was listening to you earlier, and I could have sworn I, I heard you say. Uh, will the bar of war get an upgrade anytime? What sort of upgrade would you like? There you go. Be more specific. There is that's... one thing that we would like to do. Uh, that's I have been like you know strong advocate, and what that's that? being able to choose music in the hub, oh man in, in the in the in the bar. Every time I'm playing as I'm as I'm on the tram these days, I'm thinking like man, I wish like in GTA I could have a radio. Like See, some, uh, some radio station or something <laughs> like that to, pl to play. Okay. So, wait. I'm going to set it up the for hub, you. Yeah, having the hub and being able to put on some music would be great. That would be great. One, two, five, and you're going to play in America since you're an American. All right, let's do this. Okay, and um, the thing I wanted to say is that the original idea was, it was a bit crazy and very ambitious, but we still haven't completely, like, you know, scratched it. And that's being able to connect your game to a Spotify account. Mm-hmm. And being able to actually uh, you know, to music in, in stream game. stream your music into the game, mm -hmm. and somehow maybe even some miracle might happen, and you are going to have other players listening to your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could imagine. So, but that. this is like you know, this is this is year of development. So let's not get too excited. But uh, let's start with small things. All right, sharpshooter. Is it Joker is back? I think we know this guy, and this guy kicked our ass like a million times, right? Well, he's not going to have any trouble with me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Axiom Verge, uh, please keep perks and weapons disabled in the PvP. We're going to make sure that the PvP is as fair as possible. That means somehow limiting the uh, influence of, of uh, perks. Right. So another one down, and we have uh, 
Only one more to go. Maybe we can actually go through all of them today. Jerome Anton Kult is asking, Recy uh. recyclable paint cans in the game. Uh, I mean, we introduced the paint buckets that's sort of uh, similar to that. But right now we're focused on more pressing issues like bringing new content while fixing something that uh, might uh, have issues. Dima Kutko. How can you change your name? The name is unfortunately unique for now. You will be able to change it with the inclusion of uh, I think it's the it's the it's the spa or the the massage parlor. So right now you cannot, and it it was oh yeah. this is too easy. <laughs> I'm not even sure what the hell just happened. <laughs> you, did you give up? I'm not giving up. I'm no. not. But I just died. Just move. Yeah, but I didn't. Serpentine didn't maneuver. Place. Sorry, I've actually not played Unkilled yet. Okay, so you, you have your homework, yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Daddy, go back to work. <laughs> Today, son, we're playing Unkilled. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, school. Uh, All right, Joker. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Louis Enrique Risco Lujan is asking about what sort of gifts are we going to get, we will be able to purchase during Christmas. I strongly recommend, we can show it once again, the Christmas uh, screenshots. I strongly urge you to green screen that and then, uh, you know, have a closer look at the screens because there are some of the hints already there. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we still didn't get through all of the questions. There's like uh, 10 of them remaining, but uh, since the time is really pushing us, we need to do a couple of announcements. So, Honza, are we ready with the, with the, with the announcements? So, let us start with the cosplay of the week. Cosplay of nice. this... Fashion, sorry, fashion icon of this week. Dagny Strepenskis. Is that right? Wow, that's beautiful. That's pretty exciting. I mean, we already picked the winner of the next one, and that's also very exciting because I fell in love with that one. So uh, I'm just going to, you know, tease it a little uh -huh. bit. So good luck. Uh, I have some, I mean, good work. Jeez, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, fashion icon of this week. Congratulations to who? Dagnis Trepenskis. That's right. Cosplay of the week. Skeletor. That's pretty. That's pretty amazing. This is Paul Lima Convoy. Okay, congratulations, this is pretty epic. Oh, the effort put into that one. Yeah, I'm not even sure what's going on right there. It's a, it's a, it's a, like, packaged um, figure. Someone actually figure. made a, a... No, 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 it's, it's, it's all, like, you know, smartly done to appear like that. Uh -huh. But it's like, I love the, the effort these guys put into it. Yeah, that's, that looks sweet. Oh, yeah, I've seen this one. <laughs> this is going to be you soon. Uh, yeah, I, I saw you, I saw you, uh... uh Scrolling through some some plays with pictures on you. Yeah, yeah let's not talk about that one. <laughs> meme of the week. So meme of the week, yes, uh, that is actually similar to what the reality is. So yeah, I'm not sad about it. It's my job. I'm okay. I'm definitely okay. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I've been getting warnings that uh, it's going to be fun. Man, my, face, my Facebook's about to explode. Yeah, I'm not too worried about mm -hmm. you. You are going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one is Fashion Squad of the Week. Fashion Squad of the Week is making a reappearance, and we have Dead Zot, Lore Wolf, and Little BCN. So, congrats, guys. Sweet. You guys look pretty sweet. And the Shadowgun of this week is. I'll let you uh, do the announcement. Uh, the shadow gun of this week is Masquerader. Massacrator. 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 So I this, need to go get my this eyes dude is probably the fam most famous player currently in the game. Yeah, so. he's, uh, he's got. A t I think he's number one in fame right now. Right. And uh, and he's and he's rocking he's rocking yeah. things up. I mean, he's so making no better player to res to to deserve. Yeah, congratulations. Pressure. Yeah, to, awesome. to join the Hall of Legends. So on that note. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, the Christmas are coming, so hang in there. We're going to have plenty of Christmas presents for you guys. Uh, the update is due either on Friday on or on Monday, depending on how well the review goes, because mm -hmm. we submitted it. And, uh, and yeah, I'm sure that I forgot something, but I would like to thank you for surviving your first stream, Chris. My pleasure. It's, I'm uh, looking forward to the next ones. <laughs> well, maybe next, uh. next time or in the future, this you are going to be the one doing uh, the most of the talking. <laughs> uh, well. All thanks, right. Thanks for inviting me, and I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to uh, to be here and, and get to get get to know you guys. 
uh, and gals out there, reach out. I am on Discord, uh, Chris MFG, um, and I'll be popping up on other places as well. Just getting all my accounts and everything set up still. So um, feel free to reach out. And feel free to ask Chris any questions you want. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much for watching. It's been it's been fun. And stay mad, guys. Bye. Peace out.